Motivation for the motivated. Motivation for the motivated. And now, our feature presentation. Hi there, I'm Barbara Razgoni. Yes, that is a Hungarian name. My company is Corey West Media, and my blog is Wired PR Works. I've been at it since 2006 with over 1,200 posts at wiredprworks.com. I'm here today to talk about the Wired PR and 4D system. Speakers have a special passion in life, and that is to share a message. But how do you get your message across? And once you have your message, how do you market it? How do you package it to get it out there so that people can find you and learn more about who you are, what you do, and what your call to action is? Well, as a professional speaker, I am also a marketing consultant. So one of the things I thought was, how do I make this easy for everyone? So my program is called Wired PR Works in 4D. That's a program that I present to big groups of people, small workshops, clients. And let's take out the very center of that, which is PR. I like to redefine PR, most people think public relations, I redefine PR as personality and reputation. So what personality do you have right now? You can take a personality to test to find out, or you can really project the personality that you want people to see. Keeping in mind that your reputation is always available for, for people to comment on on the internet. So the centerpiece of everything is your personality and reputation, and I want you to own that. The next part is wired, and this system is a five-prong approach that simplifies the whole marketing process. It's words, intentions, routes, experiences, and design. So, words. Words are very powerful, as we all know. And what I would like you to do is have a collection of words, everything maybe from a tagline for your business, to keywords that you use for search, even words that you put in your blog, and words that you use in your speeches. So start out by thinking about what are my words? <clears throat> Maybe you have a, a favorite word. As a writer, one of my favorite words was perennial because I also love gardening. So in a lot of articles, I'd managed to slide in the word perennial. So what words do you love? The next part is intentions. And intention is a feeling. It's the way you approach a journey. Yes, you have goals, but what do you want to feel like when you go through them? And intention means to stretch and grow. So really think about why am I doing this? What feels good about it? And think about what is your intention from every move you make. Everything from sending a text to an email to even getting on the stage. What is your intention? What do you want to get out of it? What do you want people to get out of it? For example, my intention for this video was, I want to have fun and I want people to learn something. <laughs> the next part is R and that is for routes. So what route are you going to take? Well, if you have a GPS on your phone, you know you have lots of options to get from point A to point B. You can walk, you can take public transportation, drive with or without traffic and highways. You can even see where the blocks are. So for in marketing, for you, what I want you to think about is what is the fastest route? How can you get there quickly to where your people are? Even if you like going someplace, if you have no clients there or prospects, don't even go in that direction. Only go to the route that takes you directly to where your most profitable clients would be. Those are the people who really need to hear your message. So the next piece is experiences. And in marketing, we talk about the buyer experience. It's everything from how people find out about you, to how they research you, to what it's like when you start working together, to getting referrals. So what is the experience? And one way to capture this is to look at storytelling. Now for me, with storytelling, I have a storytelling method called CPR, which is challenge, process, result. And you can even flip it over and make it result process challenge if you want to start from the beginning back and work your way to the front. But experiences are important, so you have to have a collection of buyer experiences. The last part is design in 4D. So we've got digital, direct, dynamic, and data. Everybody's a screen star today on your phone, so you really need to think about what is your digital presence. The next part is direct. How do you talk to people? What kind of conversations do you want to have? And they can be planned out ahead of time, or you just have to have an idea in your mind of how you want to relate to people and where do you want the conversation to go. The next part is dynamic. What's the fizz in your pop? And for me as a speaker, I love putting original photography in my presentation. Sure, a lot of speakers have photography in their presentation, but mine is mine and yours is yours. So you really need to think about dynamic. And the last part is data. How are you going to measure your success? You know, how are you going to see who has really responded to what you have to say? 
it's up for you up to you to figure out that that calculation so if you really want to increase your influence and go from being invisible to invincible think about using the wired PR in 4d system that's words intentions routes experiences and design in 4d digital direct dynamic and data around the most important part your personality and reputation thank you